attracts people from all over our state. Absolutely, and one of the main attractions, of course, the food. Yes. Lots of food, good food. <laughs> Eleanor Sheehan joins us now with more on it is a definite economic impact both here with the vendors and citywide. It is, and like you said, a lot of people come here for the, you know, corn dogs and funnel cakes, but they also come here to get that local food from Pueblo restaurants. And I spoke to a couple of those Pueblo restaurants today who said it's a huge boost in economy and for their business during the fair. This sandwich is one people will wait in line for. Paschi Italian sausage sandwich on a mini loaf bun, mustard lettuce, choices of cheese, Swiss American provolone. It has all three cheeses on it. Paschi calls their food a Pueblo tradition. My grandparents, grandfather started it and um, now we just passed on to generations. They say having a stand at the state fair is a priority for business success. We depend on the fair, especially bringing people in from all over the um, state you know, come try a, something new, something that they've never had before and keeping the tradition going for their generations as well. Paskey's owners buy more than 1,800 pounds of pork to feed fair customers. And we cut them in half. And but we, it's uh, not just the vendors inside the fair that get more business. Feeling a little Philly can see the fair festivities through their restaurant windows. When the fair comes into town, we obviously get so much busy, so much busier. Um, it's just, it's an increase. The owner, Amber Hartman, says they make a lot of money this time of year. Over the next 10 days, we'll add about a month of month's worth of business. <laughs> Amber says location and prices bring more people over from the fair. We have a fair special going on right now. It's two two for one beers all all day, and then we're just just a little bit less expensive. <laughs> to accommodate more customers, Amber prepares more food. We have about 450 extra burgers to make today, so so it's crazy. <laughs> Feeling a little Philly will cater the fair's rodeo. Paskey says the fair is vital for Pueblo's economy. It's a huge thing in our community to be able to host the fair every year and continue to do that. Feeling a little Philly has called in all of their staff members in order to accommodate the rush of people that are coming into their business looking for food after the fair and pass key. They will be here at the fair to provide those famous sandwiches to everyone who is looking to get a special treat from a local uh, restaurant here in Pueblo. Yeah, we're trying to give as much love as we can to as many vendors as we can and, and prove positive right here. Eleanor, thank you very much.